Hello friends, welcome to the ninth episode of Joomla 2.5 custom template development series. In the previous episode, we have installed our template and we have activated our template. We have uh, um, created different module position that is left panel, menu area, menu bottom, and uh, our template was looking like this. So we have some problem. So in this episode, I will fix all this bug. So let's start. So let's check uh, the uh, template is installed or not so if I go to the um, templates folder here you can see my template so template is installed so now uh, instead of modifying our HTML file again we will create GIF and install we will modify the install template so here you can see the LM template is created inside your Joomla folder so now we will modify this one okay so let's uh, open our project folder or we can now open this file so this is the index.php file so let's open this okay so the uh, first problem let me see we have to decrease the size so let's mention the logo size with mm, 75 height 75 save this refresh this okay now we can decrease uh, more 45 okay cool now this area is not uh, working properly and also like if I go to the Kunena forum or any other page our component area is not working so how to debug I will show you so let's go to the source code so check this one exists or not if this is exist then something is wrong in this uh, text because this should not be present here okay so let's go to the file index.file and close other file now go to the component here oh here you can see uh, I think the space so let's save this and refresh so now here you can see that text gone and is displaying the content so now if I refresh the front end so here we can see our uh, like forum is displaying so if I go to the blog then we can see the blog post if I go to the second blog post we can see the blog post now this section so if I go to the source code and check the head section so here you can see uh, the head is not so here we also need one space I have not given space so save this and open and refresh so here you can see a lot of files and um, files included here so now if I go to the front end and refresh this page now here you can see our template is working animation is working that means module is working menu is working and also in the left side uh, like our random image change here you can working L if I refresh this page um, here you can see this image is changing so module is working so now if I go to the home page I can see the login form using this login form I can login and uh, designer uh, like pretty good simple task to modify this login section or to give different um, style so that they can modify this CSS and uh, they can give a good look like save you can modify anything like this so in the blog here we can see I can navigate through page to page now I will add one um, menu and I will show you that menu dynamic menu is also working so let's go to the menu manager let's create an article um, article manager new article so test test post copy paste the CSS code this is your post 
save this so test now we will create a menu so now new article single article layout my post I will select an article test and I will click save and close so now if I go to the site here we can see all the menus now if I reload I can see new menu now if I click on the my post here we can see our CSS code and other things we have defined okay so uh, here we, uh, we can create new and the forum is also working fine here we can see uh, the forum is displaying in the right side where we have defined our uh, component area and in the left panel uh, we are displaying the other things so in the left panel we can include any other new module also let's say go to the module manager now new that is the module position name is left panel so if I click on the new now custom HTML we can easily um, cannot see yeah custom HTML hello now we can give the position left panel so hi I am left panel module bold italic let's copy paste couple of time now save now if I go to the front end and refresh I can see here you can see test so we can include any module or um, from the back end to our position so that's why I, am, I was telling that if you can create a lot of different different module position then your template will be much more flexible so um, suppose uh, the administrator want to display this text in the right side is not able to do because we have not created any right position but if you want to display this module position here he can because we have defined uh, this module position so because uh, we have this module position what was the name uh, footer above okay so if I um, from the back end administrator uh, give this position name to footer above and he refresh so here we can see now this text came here because this is our module position so I think hopefully you have understood um, the module position menu and um, the component area login uh, registration here we can see the registration form so a designer can uh, create this form um, very good and also you can um, here we can see the button are not coming good so quickly I will show some CSS button generator um, let me copy some button code choose a style this style is good now here button so give the class name button now get the code oh sorry now we will copy this code and we will place in our CSS we'll remove this tag so now if I save this and if I go to the our registration page and refresh I can see the button has been changed so in this way you can change uh, the look and feel of your website so hopefully you understood uh, how to create template in Joomla I have shown from scratch um, so if you have any problem or if you have any suggestion um, feel free to comment or email me so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day and um, in future I will create uh, one more series uh, in template development using Twitter bootstrap and uh, I will show you how to override uh, different module position etc thank you Goodbye.